on with Jupiter. What the heck is Jupiter trying to tell us? Jupiter is a very important planet, as you know, in Vedic astrology. It's the karga for so many houses. Please write down in the comments if you know which are the houses that Jupiter is the karak for. He has karakatvas for so many, almost half the horoscope. Half. Imagine how important this planet is. And therefore, the scriptures, the rishis, they say this planet is known as Guru. The word Guru has many meanings. One of the important meanings is heavy, one who is very heavy. Heavy uh, not in terms of weight, but in terms of his importance. So Guru is very, very, very important in the chart. Guru rules so many things. Guru rules your happiness, your family. He rules your wealth. Not literally the money, but the wealth in general. You know, it's not just the monetary wealth, but your happiness in general. Okay. So, and he also rules your children, of course, right? Your family. So, I mean, uh, almost everything is under the influence of Jupiter, which means depending on your uh, Jupiter, there are so many things which are uh, fixed for you. Now, what people don't understand is that there are two planets which deal with uh, awards and recognitions and some kind of goodwill, which is Jupiter and Venus. So, I had made a video a long time back, two, three years back, on Jupiter and Venus, okay, where, where I said anything good that you see in this world, anything, not everything, almost anything and everything is ruled by these two planets, Jupiter and Venus. But this year especially, now what has happened is Jupiter has gone direct from end of December. So that means now what Jupiter is trying to do, he's going direct and very soon he will be entering into the next sign, into the next zodiac sign. So when Jupiter, see Jupiter initially goes direct, then he goes retrograde, then he goes direct again like the other planets. And when he does this last final direct motion before entering a new sign, now is the time that you get the results. Now, what kind of results am I talking? See, the results will depend on your chart, your Mahadasha and your Antardasha, these three things. Now, when I say chart, I don't mean just your original Jupiter, okay? When I say the chart, I mean your overall chart, your every planet, every house, every aspect, your divisional chart. So, the overall analysis and then, of course, that also includes analyzing your Jupiter. How is Jupiter placed? And, of course, needless to say, the Mahadasha and the Antardasha. So, these things uh, will, at the end, decide what will happen in your life. But Jupiter, especially, is very important this year. Because, if you see... Uh, in the year 2024, uh, you see the number 4 is there, okay? So, number 4 is the year uh, number of Rahu and we saw in 2020, which is again 4, uh, what happened? Of course, 2024 is the year of Saturn, but still uh, the Rahu element is there. So, you will see technology, IT and all these things are booming. But what you need to understand is that Jupiter and Rahu, they are similar and very, very, very contradictory. They are not complementary. Uh, this is, these are two very uh, special planets. You know, sometimes planets have opposite traits, but they are complementary. Now, Jupiter and Rahu are two such planets which have very similar traits sometimes, but they are totally contrary to each other. One represents dharmic expansion, the other represents adharmic expansion. Okay, so these two things, this is one major difference. But what is common is both show expansion. So many times people, they get overhyped with these ideas of success, failure. Oh, this is good, that is bad. But what they forget is that 
they think like people today they think okay i am expanding okay so my uh, youtube channel is growing my bank balance is going growing my uh, real estate portfolio is growing my stock uh, market portfolio is growing my crypto portfolio is go growing and the, so many things are growing but they are not growing in their consciousness so therefore now when jupiter is actually direct then it is a very important time for us to look inside us and see how is our consciousness because if you do not look at your consciousness then you won't have anything worthwhile to look at in your life okay so should i repeat if you don't look at your consciousness very soon you won't have anything worthwhile to look at your look at it look at in your life because the the consciousness is a very integral part of your life the consciousness is you basically it's like the the soul jivatma you know the jiva you are not this body you are spirit soul so therefore this year you need to make sure that in the name of success 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 because of the number 4 element you do not forget your consciousness which means you need to make sure that you are doing spiritual practices and you are in line in tune with your nature and when you do this then uh, you will see miracles are happening and if you don't do this then what will happen is you will see that you are gaining lot of success because in my yesterday's video as i said uh this 2024 is the year of saturn and whoever does hard work they will uh flourish in this year but when i said flourish many people uh, interpreted it as materialistic uh, flourishment you know material success and all this which which is but natural but what is important is to understand that along with materialistic uh, advancement there should also be a uh, spiritual elevation otherwise what happens is the expansion that you are having in your life your family is growing your bank balance your uh, uh, over net worth is growing your net worth is growing but what's happening is you you are not able to actually enjoy them because you think the enjoyment can only come after you uh, cross this destination and you go to the next okay so you have become a millionaire now you want to become a multi millionaire if you are a multi millionaire you want to become a billionaire okay if you are a multi if you are a billionaire you want to become a trillionaire <laughs> so therefore it is it is imperative that you realize that ultimately at the end of the day you need to do spiritual practices and this year 2024 if you balance the energies of jupiter and rahu and uh, also of saturn of course then you will you will be able to make this a fantastic year because this year it could happen that because of saturn and rahu you are moving so much towards materialism that you may forget to do your spiritual practices you may not, you may not be interested to do them or uh, you may do them half heartedly so when you do this eventually you will realize that maybe or maybe not you get everything uh, but you are still miserable so every year your misery will remain the same because the material world is designed in such a way that see the the material world is a fundamental incompatibility with the soul because the soul is sat chit ananda three characteristics right full of truth eternal you know and happy okay sat chit ananda but the problem is the material world is jada which means it's dead it's lifeless so how can a, a soul enjoy matter it, it 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 is not possible and it is highly contradictory so because the soul can only have pleasure from another soul when another soul is reciprocating love okay so love is the only way you can be happy in this world even in the spiritual realm but if you think oh no no these all things will give me a lot of uh, happiness well then maybe it can to some extent but uh, it will still make you miserable so please read the bhagavad gita visit spiritual communities uh, in the weekends and we are 
he on here for the grand uh, celebration of the temple of Lord Sri Ram in Ayodhya on 22nd. So that is also a very important event. Okay, for this year maybe it would be the most important event <laughs> for the practice uh, practitioners of uh, Vedic culture and Sanatan Dharma and Hinduism, of course. So therefore, uh, you need to understand that everything will come at the right time. You will get everything, but there's one thing you will not get if you don't endeavor and that is spiritual growth. So spiritual growth is very important. Please focus on it and only then you will actually be happy. Otherwise the expansion is like Rahu's expansion. It is not the expansion of Jupiter. Okay. So if you if you want like the expansion should be holistic then you should have focus on your spiritual life then your physical health then your uh, wealth, which is, you know, career, finance, whatever, and your family life, okay? So these four pillars, Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha, should be balanced. If they are not balanced, then uh, there's something wrong with your practices, okay? okay. If you just uh, say, oh, I'll just focus on career, you know, I won't get married or, you know, I won't stay with my family, I won't do anything. Uh, well, then uh, that that's one-sided expansion. It's a Rahu-style expansion, and that will lead to misery okay anytime the four purusharthas dharma artha kama moksha are not balanced and one of them is more uh, focused more than the other you will be miserable in life it is a recipe for disaster okay so therefore please understand that if you want to be happy for long term you need these four pillars otherwise uh, you will be miserable just like everybody else okay so thank you very much for your patience and uh, if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and for consultations you will find my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him. Thank you.